Hello there. Today's a very exciting day as we are off to pick up a car for an as yet unspecified project. But first, I've got to get to my local train station and we've got to pick up my companion for the day. Let's get going. Familiar face indeed. Hello, sir. Going for a ride? This is my Uber, I guess. <laughs> Welcome, Martha, Martha. Welcome, one and all. How are you, sir? Allow me to take your back. Oh, it's a very excellent service. What can I say? What can I say? I'm well, thank you yourself. Very well, thank you, sir. Well, there you go. We've got a uh, bespoke VIP Uber. This is the, oh, the deluxe one. Yeah, yeah, this is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. And my silly hill star. Mm. There hey, there she goes. You'll have to excuse some of the noise and the cars in the background behind us. We are in Reading filming this and it's not very easy to find somewhere quiet to film. But there is good news because our inspection went very well. We bought it! Say hello to our latest project car, a 1992 Mercedes W124. I'm very happy. So specifically, this is a 1992 200E, which means it's the same two litre four cylinder, the M102 that I've got in my W123, but this baby is injected, which means more power, more economy and better reliability. Now, in mileage terms, this car from when Mercedes were at its toughest is a pretty much baby. This has done 103,000 miles, which means I'd estimate that it's about 5% of the way through its life, and it actually works really, really well. The great thing is this came as a part exchange at Mercedes Specialist, who only part exchanged it in because it was no longer compatible with London's infamous ULEZ zone, which for those of you that don't know, is a bit of a scam, quite frankly, for people who don't have either brand new or 40 plus year old cars to make them exempt, which means they have to pay £12.50 a day to drive in the greater London area. So there's a lot of less valuable older cars ultimately scrapped because people can't afford to run them. Well, this car escaped it. We saved a 124 from ULEZ. So for that alone, I'm delighted and in fact in condition terms it's really smart there's bundles of history with this thing it had a light restoration about 15 20 years ago and it's been well looked after since the uh, sort of light powdery blue there I'm quite a fan of that I think it looks quite smart it's got the pre facelift 124 front end with the ginger caters with the early style headlights with the kind of chunkier front bumper and I'm sorry to those of you with later cars I think this looks better this is just a much purer look I much prefer this little AA badge there that's your sign of quality original dealer plates from Taunton in Somerset front and rear which is always a nice touch there is a bit of crust going on in the bonnet here i think that's a bit of a stone chip that's been allowed to get worse it's savable you can just repaint that bit of it you can sort that out so that doesn't worry me at all unusually for a 124 the front wings are solid they could well have been replaced we don't know haven't checked through the paperwork but they're absolutely rot free run your hand around there and that is just dirt there is no grot no rust coming out of there tires wise always a good sign with cars like this we've got Goodyear tyres on the front and I believe we've got Continentals on the back and they're relatively good, relatively new tyres and that's a good sign it's been looked after. Moving along, the bodywork is straight, it doesn't show signs of a London car, it's not been dinged or dented too much, it's had a little bit of paintwork over its life. This arch, this is the budget arch, I'm going to be honest, it's quite crusty all the way around here, that is going to want some welding I will be brutally honest that is going to want a new arch there but these are available these cars are very well supported so as much as it's not ideal that doesn't worry me and for the money we paid which is well under £2,000 frankly I don't think you can complain of that show me another classic car like this you can buy for that kind of money moving further around um, yeah the aerial has vacated the vehicle but that's okay we can always talk to each other or sing which is nice um, you can't see around here one of the rear lights has got a small crack in it but we can seal that up with duct tape that's always a quality fix it's got a sunroof which is always uh, useful i'm not a huge fan of some reason i'm brutally honest but lucas has tried it and he assures me this this works it does work excellent there you go so we can drive along with the uh, summary of hope on a beautiful daylight today now here's an interesting thing for those of you that don't know uh, you can put your mercedes-benz vin number into the mercedes vin decoder website and it will kind of break the vin number down and show you all the options that respect on your car from new it's quite cool to do if you've got an 80s onwards mercedes it told us everything for this car about the color about the fact it's an automatic about the fact it's right hand drive a few little options with it it's got a passenger's airbag which would have been optional at the time so that's really nice good concern for safety again the sunroof however moving around here you can't really see it but i'm going to gesticulate in this area locking rear limited slip differential so i don't know why you'd skids. expect that 
I don't know why you'd pick that on a 200 automatic. Well, your theory was that it was for winter, wasn't it? Could be for winter, yeah. So, yeah, locking limited set which means we're going to be taking this to drifting tracks that... No, we're not. No, I'm I sorry, think this, this car doesn't deserve that. But <laughs> other than that, I thought that was quite funny. But other than that, it's actually a really, really nice straight car. And you can tell it's an upstanding dealer selling this because before we actually came and inspected it, they sent us videos all the way around it, inside it, under the bonnet, which is lovely, by the way, under there, and underneath it. There's no rot in the sills, in the arches, in the floors. This is actually a rock-solid car underneath, and it just presents really, really well, particularly for the money we've paid. So without further ado, let's step inside and show you what it's like in the interior. Okay, so stepping inside, you'll notice first of all in the passenger seat, massive bundle of receipts and history and folders. There's pictures here of when the thing was restored here. There you go, you can see loads of bits of work going on in there as well. This is fantastic. It's just nice touches you get with an old car like this. Three keys, very nice touch. Cloth interior, it's kind of the grey blue cloth, but it's in really good nick. It hasn't worn away, it's not stained, really, really good. Doesn't smell of stale smoke in here, which is always a good sign. The centre console, all original, not scratched, not marked, everything electrical. We've tried it all, the lights, the wiper, the mono wiper, of course, on a 124, all works beautifully. We've even tried the original Blaupunkt Korberg radio, complete with this nice period touch. There you go, theft proof. Um, also not in the best of health to be honest that doesn't really work properly but if we can revive that that would be delicious other than that the wood trims actually survived really really well as has the interior in general there's no sort of cracks or stains as we said the sunroof works all the lights work we've got a slightly baggy sunroof but other than that it's not too bad frankly I think as long as you don't sit in the middle seat in the back you don't need to worry about that on the whole it just smacks of a car that's been really really well looked after I'm, I'm you're not as enthusiastic about this oh, I'm plenty enthusiastic it doesn't creak or rattle or anything either which is going to be nice quiet yeah we took us for a quick poodle around the industrial estate before we bought it there's no noise at all i reckon your fiat 500 makes more noise than this i reckon it does in fact i know it does <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm i'm really pleased with this we we could keep waxing lyrical about it but you know how much i love old mercs i mean, mate we'll be this here is, all day yeah this is really, really good uh, we've bought a fine specimen and we've saved a car from you les we ought to take it on the road and show how it drives because we've, we've we've got a big plan for this hmm what's this space well Outside looks good, inside looks good, and now we're on the road in it. We've bought yeah, the 124. Think, to be honest, I think this is the best bit of it. Outside looks good, outside looks passable, I would say. But the ride is still just as good as the day it came out of the factory. Just it's a wafty old bar, just actually, tremendous. Yeah, and it doesn't roll like your 123. No, it doesn't actually. Well, if you go and watch our 123 versus 124 video. Yeah, uh, well, there you'll see. Uh, you'll notice that we talked about how much the suspension was. Granted, and that 124 was lowered. It was, but even um, as a standard car, I mean, you can see now, yeah, like, if, I do, if I do that, <laughs> we're not being flung out of our seat, though. No, not quite. And the engine, silky smooth. Yeah, yeah, smooth as, quiet, soaks up bumps, and there's not a rattle in here. It's really Not quiet. a rattle in here. Automatic transmission just shifts beautifully. If I'm honest, I would kind of want an auto on my 123, but I fear it wouldn't get up hills. <laughs> I'll put my foot down hard as well. There Something she goes. happens, it moves. There's acceleration. It's not a rocket ship, this is still only a no. 200, don't forget. Yeah. Yeah, but I think this is going to be brilliant. I know these are economical. I mean, my car version does 34 to the gallon. Yeah, so it's more than I can say for my E30. On a run, I think this could be touching high 30s, maybe even low 40s. Well, we may be finding that out soon enough without wanting to say too much. We've got an awful lot of a run in mind. Yes, indeed. This is the main reason we bought this car, by the way. As much as I've been campaigning for one for ages, we didn't just go and buy a 124 because um, we've got a big, big road trip. Our biggest jet. I, well, I've not been for that long, but uh, it's definitely my biggest. Classics World's biggest jet. Yeah. And that is going to be epic. So do make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon, make yeah, sure you know when we that. upload every video because what we have planned for this lovely old boat of a 124 is going to be tremendous, I think. The other thing we noticed when we went to buy this, the garage we bought this off has been sort of servicing and known of this 124 for about six, seven years now. Mm. And they had a load of digital history on their computer they were showing us and it's had new front arms it's had new brake pipes it's had a custom made heater matrix pipes because you yeah, can't buy them that's anymore above and beyond the call of duty to be honest it's had a service done and they made a point of footnoting that the the owner wanted the service done with genuine mercedes oe parts mm. not just oh stick whatever the motor factors yeah, have got fits, on it. Yeah. like the sign of a conscientious owner right there and it's paid yeah. off because it just runs like a champ yeah, it's held together remarkably well for its age the, the, it's not perfect i mean the, the the radio how can i put it politely it looks cool but um it makes annoying sounds it doesn't do much other than i mean no. the, the, the total lack of an aerial might have something to do with that <laughs> Mayhaps. i did manage to coax some classic fm out of it earlier Ooh, and very the speakers are 
no no longer they're present they're, they're, to- they're present in the body but not in mind I think is how I would put it <laughs> goodness okay. um, but do you know what in every other respect I think this is a store car I mean it's so comfortable just this when I picture a 124 this comes to mind and you know a late coupe is a lovely thing and a late convertible is a lovely thing I mean, keep it simple, keep it with the cheapest body style, and you'll well, be fine. This is the other thing, and we, we've just finished writing a feature for Classic Car Buyer about the best buys for every budget. And for two, five, ten, and twenty thousand pounds, you can go onto shop.kelsey.co.uk and buy that issue if you haven't already. <laughs> um, and Phil cited the W124 as his five thousand pound choice. And for five yeah, grand, you've got your pick. You've got things. a nice one. You can buy that any. Kind of money. But you can get one for less than two as we've proven yeah we just did let's just point out this isn't an immaculate car it no. wants a blooming good clean and polish it wants that arch looking it wants out. the arch doing it the, wants that bonnet repainting the headliner is the headliner it, it's is, better than a jag to be fair yeah, I don't that much Air X350 was worse than this after half the age so mm. you know and we have seen in the service history that it has had the sunroof done oh you're brave for a, for a, a common issue and Do it you just know what? look at that it goes actually, back and it's forwards. If it gets stuck now. It's not getting stuck, I promise you. I have to drive three hours home in this. Well, you know, that sounds like a you problem. But hey, it's. I think it's, it's more a, I think that's a positive rather than a negative because <laughs> in I love- In this case, yes. I, I hate to admit, I'm doing that thing I do with old Mercs. I'm already a bit in love with this. You've got to be careful. I think I'm already going to buy this. Oh dear. <laughs> but well, you know we'll what? Put that on the record now. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> um, but actually, this is lovely. This, this, th- I want to be saying, oh, that sounds a bit funny, and that feels a bit funny, but nothing that does. Really does. It feels tight. It looks a bit funny in places, but everything else, all the tangible things, are completely fine. Even I, the upholstery is relatively spotless. It's held up so well, and yeah. also, we didn't even realise till we turned this on that it had ABS. And if you really stamp on it, bloody not. <laughs> It works! Felt the ABS kicking through the pedal there. Yeah, and the newer Merc behind us managed to stay out of our boot, which is nice. That's a Renault Megane, this is a proper Mercedes. <laughs> Good lord. No, so everything on it works. Yes. With the exception of the radio. But other than and that... And the driver. <laughs> and the driver. But the driver is delighted, my friend, because I think what we've got here is a really, really nice, solid honest, example. solid, well-looked-after W124 for less than the price of a down payment on a brand new E-Class. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think you can complain at that. No, I certainly won't be. I am genuinely chuffed. I've wanted an old Merc on our fleet for a long time now. And yeah. Here it is. I am delighted. So do stay subscribed and get tuned in for future videos. We're hoping to do another project update on this car and then we can tell you what we've got in store for it, which is mega. See so, you then. See you then. ta ra ta Oh. That's my seat clicked in. Yeah, that's, that's, that's handy. Yeah. Right.